Hey, it's Manly Parks. Welcome to another episode of the Brandywine Angler uh, product review edition. If you're on Instagram like I am, you may be getting these ads for this kind of shoe called Allbirds. I got a bunch of these ads and they intrigued me and actually then I ran into somebody who had a pair and they were extolling the virtues of the shoes. So at Christmas, I went out and got a pair. And so I thought I'd do a review of these shoes and let you know what I think of them so far. I've had them about two or three weeks at this point. And so I have some thoughts about them. That's what we're gonna talk about today. If you've seen the ads, you know, all birds are sort of like these uh, sneaker or training shoe type shoes. They're not really for sports use, they're for casual wear uh, and maybe even like business casual wear. I actually bought mine to wear uh, to the office. I was looking for something a little more comfortable to wear than sort of traditional um, men's kind of dress shoes or casual dress shoes. They come in like some kind of mesh uh, synthetic material as well as in wool and I got the wool kind so that's what my review will be about. First thing is that the ads talk about how comfortable these shoes are and I will say they meet that uh, claim. They are very very comfortable. It is important to understand sizing though. Normally a size 12 in say a pair of Nike running shoes or something like that. So I got a size 12. Well, the 12s came and they're a snug fit. Um, since these are the wool ones and I plan to wear them with socks for the office, I needed more space. So I went and got the 13s. There is no 12 and a half. And that's what I have now and they fit very nicely with socks. Uh, so account for that when you're ordering because uh, it's easy to order a size that's too small, at least in my personal experience. If I got the mesh ones and I were going to wear them without socks, 12 would probably work. But with socks and with the wool ones, 13 was the ticket for me, even though I typically wear a 12. Number two, it's January here in southeastern Pennsylvania. It's cold. There's some snow, some ice. I've been out a little bit in these and they are not as sure-footed on the ice as, for example, a normal pair of running shoes would be. The soles are fine. I'm sure they are perfectly good in virtually every scenario, but in anything icy or snowy, um, they're, I would say, slipperier than a normal pair of kind of rubber-soled tennis shoes or training shoes, running shoes. Not super dangerous, not to the point where I will not wear them, but it's something to keep in mind. Third point, the wool is super soft, it's super comfortable, but it does collect stuff, like a sweater like pet hair and that kind of thing. We have a dog and three cats and there's pet hair, like no matter how much we vacuum, there's pet hair around. And I'm pretty constantly cleaning the pet hair off of my shoes. Probably not a big deal, but something to keep in mind, the wool does grab stuff up. I've noticed that if I'm out in the garage and kind of messing around where there's the little particles of sawdust from boards I've cut and that kind of thing that that gets on the wool too. Again, you can just brush them off, but it is something to keep in mind if you're planning to wear them in an environment where there's going to be some dust, some little bits, particles, pet hair, they, you know, they're going to pick that stuff up and you might have to just maintain them by brushing them off more regularly. You wouldn't ever think the need to do that with a pair of running shoes or a pair of normal dress shoes or dress casual shoes. But with these, it's something you do have to think about. 
My final point, um, at least so far in my observation, is that they look. I think they look pretty nice. I like the styling of them, but note that when you see them in the ads on Instagram or wherever, they don't show them tied. They obviously have laced them in such a way that the ends of the laces are tucked down in the shoe somewhere. Tucking the lace ends down inside the shoes, but it was always not comfortable because the stupid laces are inside the shoe and under your foot. So I've just got mine laced with a normal, you know, knot for tying shoes, but they aren't going to look as sleek as they do in the ads where there aren't, you know, there's no knot, your shoe, shoelace knot showing. So keep that in mind. If you sort of like the look of what you see in the ads, just make sure that you picture, hey, what's that going to look like with the laces tied? Or am I okay with, you know, either knotting them off on the inside of the top eye and cutting the shoelace or tucking the shoelace down inside or whatever. All in all, so far, I'm really happy with them. They are definitely comfortable. Um, I like them a lot, but you know, there are some other aspects to keep in mind, as I've mentioned. I would recommend them, but just keep in mind that you need to get the right size. They might be slipperier than you used to for sneakers or, or running shoes on ice. They do pick up pet hair and other little bits of things in the wool that you have to brush off regularly. And, you know, it's going to have that shoelace knot unless you lace them in a different way. And that may change the styling or the look in a way that you may or may not like. Anyway, I hope it's been helpful. Not really a fishing uh, item, but uh, something that maybe some people out there are, are thinking about. As always, it's the Brandywine Angler Manly Parks. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.